This is Miss Poopy Duty, world's most determined reporter of the Porter for Channel 666 Eyewitness News. I know what all of you are thinking. Where is the table and why am I, Miss Poopy Duty, standing up? Well, I just wanted to say that here I am at home. And you know what happens when you're home? You're saving lives. Just think about it. One, two, three, four, five. These five seconds of me staying home has actually saved countless numbers of lives. Just think about it. Just think about it. Are you thinking? Are you people thinking? Are you really thinking? And remember now, in this age, in today's uh, age, in New York's epicenter, you know, if you see your neighbor who is standing six inches away from you and not six feet apart, take a picture of them, send it to the police, Send it to the special hotline the mayor has set up. And write, My neighbor did not social distance, so I hope the police come and get you. You can write that. Or go to your mom and pop shops. I know there are not that many around. There are not that many around. There's very, very few of those. But the few that are out there, you know, those small little shops. And walk around and look around and then make your observations. And then you may notice the, uh, the line. Uh, there's no tape on the floor to denote six feet, you see, because uh, it, there's just no tape on the floor. I mean, you know, some people are standing, you know, not very close to each other, but there's no tape on the floor to denote six feet. So how are you going to know how far away you have to stand? So take pictures of these mom and pop shops and the tape. Take a picture of mom and pop and then text those pictures to this new... Uh, hotline that the mayor has set up so the police can come down and lock this mom and pop shop down. I mean, is, isn't that great? Don't you feel good doing your civic duty as a citizen, as a member of the society? Don't you feel good? And when you walk around your neighborhood or wherever it is that you're going with your huge PPE mask strapped around your head and you notice that others may not have strapped their masks properly. What do you think you should do? You should point at them, point at them. Say something nasty, but I know it's difficult to speak when you've got a mask over your face, you know, it can sound muffled. So instead, just glare at them with your eyes and then point at your mask. Point at your mask when you pass them, even if they're 10 feet away, even if they're 20 feet away, point at it. Because remember, you're doing your duty, your civic duty. So in fact, wear your mask, walk down all these streets and get your fingers ready and point, point to all these people. Because you have to tell them, you have to tell them what to do, what to think. Or actually, you have to tell them that they have to do what, uh, uh, the TV says what the media says and you have to think what the media thinks. I mean, you have to. You have to listen to them, right? You can't really think for yourself. We need the government. We need the state. We need the people. We need, we need the news to tell us what to think. So remember, you're walking around. Be sure to do this. This is a great gesture. And, you know, if, if possible, maybe there, we could even write legislation, uh, uh, legislation that those that are not wearing their, their masks, even if they're standing 10 feet away from you, perhaps we need to write legislation so the politicians and elect politicians who would arrest these people who are not wearing these masks, they have to be arrested. I mean, who cares that 1,000 criminals have been let out in New York City? Does that really matter? They just need better lives. They've only done simple things like burglaries, assault, armed robberies. They've only done simple things. And here these people who are not wearing masks, they're killers. They're killers. They're going to kill people. Don't you understand? Wake up. Don't you get it? They're going to kill people. So make sure you take their pictures, send it to the police officers, and be sure to tell them. Be sure to tell them. In fact, we could even introduce new legislation to write laws that if you have
have a mask and you are walking down the street and uh, you have the right to carry a stick with you that's six feet long. So if the person uh, is not wearing a mask, you can whack them with it and you're still a good person because you're still technically six feet away from them. You can whack them with it and they have no right to hit you back or do anything because you have done your duty for the day. That's what we need now. This is exactly what the kind, this is what, this is the kind of laws we need passed in New York City, the epicenter, because this is the only way we're gonna get these numbers down. We have to be strict with this. We have to pass laws like this. And you know what? I know some of you have been congregating in numbers of two or three in your house. You know, perhaps what we need to do is have a law where the mayor, uh, I mean using taxpayers' money of course, we can install cameras inside everybody's house just to make sure that they're observing social distance. Because we really have to make sure that we're protecting people. Don't you agree? Aren't these extra, uh, aren't these laws really good things to have? So remember folks, when you're walking around the streets and you see people with their masks on, and especially those that don't have it on or are not wearing it properly, like if it's hanging by their ear or if it's on their head or on their chin, you know, be sure to go up to them and tell them because when you do that, you are good. You are a good little doggy. I mean, you're a good little person. You are, I mean, you're not a little person. You're just a good little idiot. No, you're not a good little idiot. You're just a, you're just a really good, good, useful person. That's what you are. You are very, very useful when you do that. So remember, those that do that are very useful. And those that don't do that are very, very bad. Very, very bad and very, very stupid and ignorant and very, very bad. So I hope all of you now armed with this information. I'm sure now you all know what this information is about. You all know about it. So go out there and snitch on your fellow New York neighbors. Forget about watching somebody burglarize the, your neighbor's home because it doesn't really matter now. You know, if you see somebody jumping over your neighbor's fence, uh, messing up the place, you call the police, they're, they're overwhelmed. They're not going to come and do anything because these crimes are not considered that violent. So don't bother call the police for crimes. Oh, it's not even a crime if a burglar why am I calling this person a burglar? I'm sorry, this poor unfortunate person who's on your property in your house, maybe they're just hungry and just have to take food from your fridge or take the valuables that are in your house. It's just only because they need it. They're not bad people. So don't call the police when you see that happening to your neighbors. Call the police when you see neighbor number one talking to neighbor number two and they're only three feet apart. All right, folks, remember, be good and do what everyone says and does. Once again, this is Mr. Pupitini, Walter Mosey, Tony Porter, reporting for Channel 666 Eyewitness News.